next step we are going to extrude this sketch right click on sketch 1 select create extrude uh, since we are going to simulate two dimensional convergent divergent uh, flow simulation so uh, we are not really care about the extrusion but before we could simulate 2d simulation we still need to build the three-dimensional uh, space then later on we reduce that three-dimensional space back to 2d again so that's extrude the whole uh, thickness of our sketch to one centimeter click OK so this is our uh, original model right now and later we will reduce uh, this geometry into just one plane later okay let's select this face here right click and re uh, let's rename it to inlet so this is the inlet of the nozzle let's select uh, three ex uh, environmental plane here here and here we use control key to help us to multi select uh, different regions okay so those three uh, regions we rename it and name it as uh, outlet also want to name those uh, two walls into nozzle walls and also uh, environmental wall just wall so those two just walls all right and then the last two part those two parts will be symmetry plane okay so that's finished the setup process close this 3d kit then go to next step let's assign these 3d kit models to parts right click new geometry part click OK then we have the part here let's open a geometry view here to help us to uh, build up the process all right so right now we could expand the uh, body so we can see there's an inlet nozzle walls outlet symmetry plane and walls so uh, we already define the boundaries of this simulation so we could just assign this part to simulation regions assign part to regions that's change to create a boundary for each part surface then apply close so that's uh, collapse the uh, geometry and go to regions into the boundaries the inlet let's change it to stagnation inlet to the outlet we change it to pressure outlet pressure outlet right here wall is wall so we didn't uh, need to change that for the symmetry plane let's change it to symmetry plane all right so we finished the setup of the boundaries then next step will be meshing 